My name is Carson, I'm 10 years old, and I love to play with big snakes. Boom, oh, Froggy, he's a monster. Isn't he just gorgeous? Oh, Froggy, beat me right on the hand. Woo! That's gonna leave a mark. Maisie's an albino, and she is super long. My first snake was a cinnamon and milk snake I got for Christmas, and now my collection has got so big, I have an albino corn snake that's five, six. This is actually part of Maisie's poop, right in there. So you can tell that she can't digest the fur, so she just pooped it out. Carson started working with animals when he was really young. He um, developed an interest when he was probably 18 months, two years old, he knew lots of facts and tips about it, started collecting a lot of little animal toys, and then that's just really grew and grew until now they're no longer toys, they're the real thing. <laughs> what cool fact about the bearded dragon is that they'll actually, with their defense mechanism, they'll make themselves look big, They'll stand on their hands as tall as they can, and they'll, what the predator, if the predator's coming at them, they'll be like, oh, I see you, if you come in near me, I'm gonna bite you. And they can be very territorial with other males. Love you, Beardy. I want to be like Steve, or I want to go around the world and do like documentaries and stuff. Woohoo, he is a beauty. Now, this guy, why he has those triangular teeth, because he's insectivorous meaning that he likes to only eat insects, and that's about all he eats. Let's move on to the next animal. Steve Irwin had a huge impact on Carson, and he does like to do animal shows, and he loves to drop, you know, crikey, or, you know, just some quotes that he's heard. G'day, mates! G'day, mates! G'day! Woohoo! Reptiles rule! Home oh, animals. Does the beard, the um, tortoise eat this? Squash? Oh, yeah. yeah, you have to cut it up in small bits. The snap and tear, I'll always have to watch what I'm doing because he strikes so fast and you just have to be really careful what you're doing. But not really, he's really the only one that really gives me kind of the chills. Let's see if he's in there. Oh, I feel him. Oh, just kidding. Oh, here he is. I've been bitten and scratched by a bunch of different animals. Snakes, lizards, turtles. I've been peed on by frogs, and I've actually been bit on the pinky by a gerbil. Right here's the Sinaloa and milk snake. He's one of my favorites. Now the Sinaloa and milk snake, they're native to Mexico. They like to live in the desert. Oh, but crikey, bit me right on the hand. Woo! Oh! Froggy that hit. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Now, what I didn't do is what you don't need to do is when he bit me, I didn't jerk my hand away. And because if I jerked my hand away, I would have ripped his teeth out and then he would have got an abscess and that would have been my fault. Let's put him up because he's very angry. He got bit in the face by a, um, a gecko one time. But when he gets bit by the snakes, they're never like, I don't think they bite him, like fully bite him. Like it's usually just like a couple little small. My friends like interacting with the animals a lot. They help me out with feeding typically the lizards, the turtles, the frogs, and sometimes they'll help feed the snakes. Does anybody think, know what Beardy eats? Um, worms and crickets? Yes, feel his back. I like turtles. Do they live in water? No, he actually lives on the land. He lives in a continent named Africa, and he has those claws and those armor-plated arms right there to help him burrow, and oh, he's pink. Basically, these toes right here, if he didn't have those, he would fall off and he wouldn't be able to stick onto the trees. Does, his, um, does he stick to a window? Yeah, they can stick to windows. Carson 
Jason is, he's a strong-willed child, so he has a, a very um, bright pr personality, I guess you'd say. Kind of talks about being a vet, but really, he's kind of part of conservation efforts is really his goal. Protecting animals and, mm -hmm. you know, educating others on the importance of, you know, protecting certain species. And how that happens is something called global warming. I'm very proud of him and what he's been able to accomplish at such a, at such a young age. It's pretty incredible. Particular pythons are very strong animals very strong apex predators and they demand respect. Because I like pink. I don't think they could eat her. This is Sonny. Um, he's a six-year-old reticulated python and this is Cher. Sure. Let's see if she's in the mood. Oh, Cher. Sure. <laughs> My interest in reptiles started around six to eight years old. She's a gorgeous girl. And it, it's just snowballed from there, I guess. I suffer from like social anxiety and anxiety issues, and reptiles, I don't know why, when, when, you, hold, when you hold them, they make you calm. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Even though they're, they are apex predators, I find them very therapeutic, oddly. Always having a little scratch. Sonny and Cher both have gentle and docile personalities, but when, it's when food is involved, that's when things change. What I'm doing right now, I'll bring Sonny and Cher in and just, just handle them and, you know, and just, just you know, let them have a little stretch and wander. Yeah. My hair's stuck. My hair's stuck. Mm. You know, my daughter Emilia, she's seven years old. We started small interactions with her when she was about a year and a half. Me and my daughter will watch TV, um, have one of the snakes on the sofa, and yeah, the snakes are just quite happy, relaxing. They're, they're like a warm lap. Yeah, they feel quite safe and secure. Once I knew she had the understanding to be gentle, I was more prepared for her to stroke the snake. But did you forget we need breakfast? So let's put it on. Rapunzel can wear anything. Pink team. Mom, you're not supposed to do that. Oh. Mm. I don't think they could eat her. I, um, they, they could, yeah, but they could quite possibly, you know, if they managed to get around her neck or anything like that, they, they could, they could do a lot of, lot of harm. I would never leave my daughter unsupervised with any animal. She's going to do a poo. Oh, you've got those, those wipes. They're very strong apex predators, and they demand. Respect. It's part of snake life. Right? Part of school life too. Mm. I'm just going to sit up here so I don't get wet feet from that wee. I know I cannot look after these animals by myself. Doing any activity with my daughter, that I will always worry about my daughter's safety. There will be risks with everything. What I'm trying to show that a well-handled snake was very unlikely to want to bite. Is there any other kind of pet that you would rather have instead of the snake? A cat. The relationship between my daughter and the snakes have got stronger over time. I enjoy filming just the gentle interactions between my daughter and the snakes. And it amazes me on a daily basis how how they do behave. Hello. Did you like it up there? <laughs> Stay on me forever, Share. It's finally nice to see a human, a young child, behaving nicely with a very demonised animal, essentially.
The, the life expectancy, I think, of a reticulated python is like 20, 30 years old. So I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be coming up to what my 70s by the time I think they pass away. Night, night, sunny, night, night, share. The sunny and share, as long as you don't frighten them or hurt them, they're very gentle and docile animals. Actually, nicer than most humans that I've encountered, actually. So. When I interact with big animals, it makes me feel um, excited because um, they're really big and exciting to play with. I like alligators because they launch out of the water and you know when they're launching out of the water in clear water but sometimes when they're not in clear water they um they wiggle their tail and you can't see them and so um sometimes they launch and eat you. I'm Charlie Parker, I'm eight years old and I like to play with alligators, snakes and lizards and frogs. Um, my passion with um, animals first started when I um, holded my first snake when I was one, when I was a baby. My favourite snake is the um, reticulated python <clears throat> because they squeeze their prey. What does it feel like? Um, feels smooth. I'm not afraid of um, handling snakes or alligators because I've worked with them my whole life and um, I build it up a trust to them. It's very natural around animals and also with reptiles. He's like a little David Attenborough, really. There's about 50 species of reptile, and then we've got about 20 species of mammal. We believe um, passionately in conservation, and we believe that you cannot promote conservation without people meeting the animals up close. I was three when I interacted with my first alligator. It launched at me and um, launched at me again and then it did a big jump and I fed it. It's pretty cool. My favourite animal is Crunch the Crocodile. He used to be named Houdini because um, he used to get um, out of all the traps. Crunch is a five metre saltwater crocodile. probably weighs around about 700 kilos. Oh. And he respects Crunch, you know, he's a, a big wild caught crocodile and uh, quite dangerous. So, um, but yeah, Ch Charlie's fairly comfortable with him and he goes in there all the time. I certainly wouldn't put him at risk if I thought he was gonna get eaten. <laughs> Applause, and we've all got, you know, bitten fingers and a few scars <laughs> and, um, over the years and Charlie's accruing a few himself. I've been bitten by a uh, blue tongue, snake, crocodile, alligator, um, venomous snake, that's called a copperhead, um, Black-headed python, olive python, and pygmy python. Charlie can interact with most of the animals here at the park. Yeah, he enjoys working with the penguins. He enjoys working with mammals.
only the reptiles. Some for you, some for them. He really helps out and I, I think everybody really uh, appreciates how good he is with the animals. My friends think I'm cool because um, I work with animals all the time and they want to be like me one day. Charlie has his own following at the park. Yeah, when people see me, um, they're amazed because I'm so young. When I grow up, I want to be a um, professional zookeeper. Like um, Steve Irwin, 